Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. I can't believe that we're already hitting Vlogmas Day 1 this early. Like it is insane how fast this year has gone. But as you guys can see I am in my car at the moment and I am wearing all black which means I am about to drive to work. Actually not too sure how interesting this first vlog is gonna be just because I am working today so I'm working 9 30 till 4 today and then I have dance from 7 30 to 8 30 but it's half an hour from where I live so I'll need to leave at like 7 so that kind of gives me like two and a half hours at home and Phil is working so he starts at 4 so by the time I get home he'll already be at work have got some bits and pieces planned for vlogmas so yeah don't look at this video and be like oh this is how it's gonna be the whole time because it's not i'm not excited to drive to work you can probably see by like these two windows it is so cold it is like gray and rainy and really really windy and it's yeah it's freezing outside i hate driving in the rain but regardless i'm excited for vlogmas it's gonna be a good month i'm gonna stop rambling because this is usually like the time that I head off so it's currently nine o'clock so I usually leave for work like half an hour before I'm due to start. I'm gonna drive to work and I'll catch you guys after work. Hey guys so I've just got out of work. Work was actually really really quiet today. On rainy days it goes one of two ways like it's either really really busy or really really quiet and today it was <laughs> really really quiet and usually in the afternoons it picks up a little bit but this time it just didn't so that was fun. I feel like the day just dragged and dragged and dragged until we got to like three o'clock and then like that last hour went really really fast. Um, also I just wanted to let you guys know with my vlogmas videos i might have to join some of the days together just depending on my plans so just keep that in mind and i'll try and keep them as fun as possible do work like 30 hours a week so just keep that in mind with um, me trying to figure out stuff for vlogmas i also wanted to let you guys know that it is mine of phil's anniversary today but we're not really gonna be seeing each other that much today but yeah i'm just gonna head home i'm really really tired um i'm gonna listen to some christmas music on the way home because i've started listening to my christmas playlist so it's starting to get me festive i'll catch you guys later on so i'm home now as you can probably see by the background I'm currently in the kitchen i am making a toasty i've just got ham and cheese and barbecue sauce in it. Just because I'm really hungry and we have like no food because we do groceries tomorrow. So this is the only thing that I could think of that is actually gonna fill me up. Usually I have like a big lunch at work and I did get um, like a half eggs benedict at work but I'm just really hungry at the moment guys. Like I've been eating a lot. On the note of dance, um, we're doing like a disco number for our show and we have to find costumes. So if you guys know of any local places that do either like a costume hire or sell disco stuff or if there's any websites that ship really really fast can you please let me know in the comments because I've got my outfit for one of the dances that we're doing but the second one I have no idea what to get but obviously I need to be able to dance in it and it needs to be appropriate okay so it probably looks like I haven't moved at all but my toasty has been consumed and I thought I would open the first day of of our advent calendars with you. I don't know if Phil's opened his or not so I'm hoping that he didn't want to <laughs> wait and do it with me. But yeah it's just a bit of fun. Um, I know in my last year's vlogmas videos sometimes people would like comment and like get annoyed that I had an advent calendar and it's like advent calendars are for children but I don't think you're ever too old to have chocolate especially at Christmas time. We just bought ours from the warehouse in case anyone is wondering and um, they also stock them in Kmart now. So number one. It's the Christmas countdown. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh there you go. It's like a little reindeer head. If you're gonna get an advent calendar, get a Cadbury one. It's really good chocolate. Day one is down. If you guys do wanna see me open this advent calendar every day, 
can you please let me know in the comments um or if you're just not interested then let me know as well or if like you don't mind the odd day or two then let me know let me know if you want me to keep this little segment going so i've just chucked on my jacket I haven't like decorated anything in the actual house but what we have started decorating is the balcony it's not finished we still need to put um the lights and stuff up just so that i've kind of got something to show you guys today that will kind of get you in the festive spirit i thought i would go outside and brave the cold for you and show you guys how we've decorated our balcony for Christmas. So if I kind of take you, so the balcony door is here. Ignore my socks and slides. This is a little overview of our balcony. Oh my gosh, that's like flooded. And then we've also got a sign doormat in front of the door, obviously. It's from Kmart. We've got the little stake that we had um, last year in the pot plant. This I hate. It is such an ugly plant, but we just can't get rid of it. Like, we've asked our um, property manager if we can get rid of it. But because it was here when we first came into the apartment, we can't get rid of it but I mean at least the flowers kind of go with the theme because they're red yeah the little light is from Kmart over here we've got this little like tin Santa guy um they also do these in reindeers and he's also from Kmart we do still want to put lights on the candle holder um and we do want to put lights like along here I also bought one of these this year which is a little um tin sign that says reindeer highway and we've just put that in front of our door um, I'm not going to pan down just obviously for privacy reasons I'm really liking that up there I think it's really cute and we just hooked it on with just some like normal hooks that you use inside and so far it's been all right and it hasn't come down it is honestly so so um icy out there I'll show you guys the lights that we did buy so we bought this pack of lights here from Kmart so this is just the 200 LED multicolored string lights it's 15.9 meters in length and it's solar powered so we bought these to go outside above the door frame but we just haven't put them up yet um we wanted to do it yesterday but it was pissing down with rain yesterday so we couldn't do it yesterday and then we wanted to do it on Sunday but we ran out of time and then Saturday was the day that we started decorating the balcony and we just ran out of time we also bought some little like outdoor light hooks um these are called the rope light clips and they're for outdoors obviously um and these we just bought from mitre 10 so hopefully it works and hopefully we can actually hook them up we've done a little bit more than last year to the balcony which i really wanted to do but i think i still would like a couple of other bits and pieces but i don't really want too much that's solar powered just because we've only got one plant so i don't want to be sticking a whole heap into one plant if you know what i mean so it is currently 10 past 5 and i thought i would just kind of sit down and update you guys on everything i've kind of been up to since my last vlog i try and vlog like every month or every couple of months or so just so I'm kind of keeping you guys updated with my life as things go on and things happen. But I haven't vlogged in like two months. So obviously me being a really, really busy person, there is quite a lot that has happened. I'm so happy that I am starting to vlog again now because I've really missed vlogging recently. And there have been a couple of days where I wanted to vlog. My mental health was not great, so I didn't. So I have a little list on my phone. So I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can so I'm not ready heaps the first thing I wrote down is that New Zealand went back to level one so I think in my last vlog we were in a level two lockdown which means everything's open but you just have to like use hand sanitizer and scan with the little COVID scanners everywhere you go and usually you have to wait in lines and like only a certain amount of people can be in one store at a time if that makes sense so now we're back to level one which basically means that life is normal everywhere is open we've still got hand sanitizer and like COVID tracer apps everywhere we do still have covid cases but we don't have any in my town that are active they're only like up in the big cities and most of them are in like managed isolation facilities from people who are coming back to new zealand if that makes sense sorry if you can see a fly buzzing around there's a couple in the apartment and it's driving me nuts so when i go to dance i'm gonna fly spray it just so it gets rid of them <laughs> i wrote down that i caught up with my sister a couple of times so she's come back here twice now and she is coming back for Christmas as well so 
yeah it's been nice to catch up with her i know she watches these videos so hi shelby if you're watching i went to a newcomer's lunch at church i have got photos on my instagram as well if you do want to kind of see everything that i'm talking about so that was nice so it was basically like everyone that was new to the church if you guys don't know by the way i have started going back to church i grew up in a church and then i kind of fell away from it as i was older and then i've slowly started um going back now and it's just so that you can meet people and kind of get to know not like run the church but people that are like kind of like leading the church if that makes sense the next thing i wrote down is that i actually got some new piercings you've probably seen in some of my most recent videos when i have my hair back i have gotten some new piercings recently so i got this one here inside my ear which is called your conch i got this one up here which is called your rook I got my tragus changed to a stud because i used to have a ring in it so that's all for this ear and then on this ear i got a second stud just under this um top one which was the original plan when i got this pierced i did originally want to get another one underneath it as well but i just never got around to it so i've been on a bit of a piercing binge at the moment i'm not quite done there are a couple of others that i am looking to get and i do want to do like another like piercings like tour kind of video when i have got a few more so if you're interested in any of them or how they're healing or the pain or anything then let me know if you would like me to do another update next thing i've written down is that i went to a couple of women's ministries so one was last month one just happened yesterday and they've been really really fun it's basically like all the women from church are invited and we get together usually it's at the church but the one yesterday was at somebody's house we usually do like an activity or like play a game and then we have a little devotion and we get food and like socialize and stuff but the one yesterday was purely just like a social event she did like some platters and some desserts and stuff for everybody um and yeah we just basically all socialized and it was a really really great night i wrote down that i went to a, the soul lounge which is basically just like people kind of go there to like drink and listen to music um because they have like a dj i voted so our election now has been and gone but yeah i just wanted to put it in there that i am enrolled to vote so is phil we both voted so if you're not enrolled to vote please 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 enroll because your vote does count been out to town a couple of times since obviously in level two town was shut so it's been nice to kind of go back and have like some girls nights and stuff the next thing i wrote down is that i went to the amp show i thought about vlogging it but i have done a vlog like a couple years ago of me going to the amp show so i can link it i can't remember what side it's on it's on one of these sides but this year they didn't have all of the like stalls and stuff that sell things just because of covid but they had the carnival so um, i did instagram story it so it is on my instagram so if you want to see me at the amp show and see what i got up to then it's on my instagram in one of my highlights phil went to sports camp and i helped out my friend chrissy in her coffee trailer so basically sports camp is an event that my old church holds but the church that we go to plays against my old church and it also they also like have teams from different churches around new zealand all come down to stay at this one church and basically just play sport against each other and my friend chrissy she owns a coffee business she used to manage at my work but she left to start her own business and occasionally i help out in her coffee trailer so i helped her out then because she was getting absolutely slammed and that was really really fun i really enjoy helping her out in her trailer caught up with some friends obviously had like a couple of girls days and girls nights and stuff yeah we did like a big party like a big surprise party for my friend Anna's birthday so again that's on my Instagram if you want to see that hopefully I'm in kind of the same spot my battery just died so I had to go and grab another one and put that one on charge also have had a couple of friends engagement um, and birthday parties they're on my Instagram um, they've been really really fun if you guys have been on my channel for a while then you will probably notice that recently I took a week off uploading I don't really want to go into too much depth on why but basically I just had probably the toughest week with my mental health that I think I have had in a really 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 long time I don't really want to say what triggered it I might 
eventually but for now i don't really want to talk about it but yeah i did take a week off yeah there's just a lot going on up here that i have to try and sort out and figure out and it just makes me really really stressed so i'm trying my best to kind of get these videos out and i actually took time off work as well like that's how bad it got and i never ever take time off work for my mental health really the next thing i wrote down is that there was serious flooding in our town like our city was declared in a state of emergency i can kind of sh put some pictures overlaying now to show you guys how bad it was we were lucky enough that we didn't get flooded at all but like a couple of streets over from us there was i think it was like knee deep water that was on the streets one of our friends from church their street was waist deep the water level rose up to where their front door is and then it stopped and luckily nothing in their house got ruined but a lot of people have lost a lot and some homes have even been declared uninhabitable yeah it was really really bad it has never ever gotten that bad here before but yeah the drains were just like flooding and it was going into the streets thankfully now though it's all cleared up and yeah like i said we were very blessed that we didn't lose anything we didn't lose any vehicles we didn't lose anything in our home the next thing i wrote down is that i went to the lions book sale obviously if you guys saw my previous video which if you didn't um i'll leave it down below and in the eye whatever side it's on and then the last thing that i wrote down is that we went to like a festival arts day at Phil's like Polytech and one of our friends had like a photography exhibit so we went to like go and support her and then we watched like the fashion parade and then we looked at all the artwork and stuff that was on display and we got food and there was drinks and there was like a band and a big stage and yeah it was a really 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 fun time i actually didn't put anything of that on my instagram though so then the other couple of updates that aren't like things that i've been up to if that makes sense but i just wanted to update you guys in this video the first one is i finally have edited my engagement photos so if you don't follow me on instagram then you wouldn't have seen them but um, Phil and I did like a photo shoot with my best friend Rachel. She took all the photos. It was kind of after we got engaged, but it was once like the lockdown had finished. My Instagram is always linked down below if you want to go and check out those photos. I'm really, really, really happy with them. Um, I want to get a few of them printed out to actually put in our home. The last thing that I wanted to kind of let you guys know, again, is to do with Instagram. But I have started two um, days in my life highlights on Instagram. So basically anything that I'm up to when I'm not vlogging, I am trying now to put on my Instagram so that I'm active over there when I'm not uploading vlogs on here so if you kind of want to get to know me a little bit better and kind of see what I'm up to a lot of the time then yeah make sure you um, check out my Instagram the first days of my life highlight is the one that has all of the um, AMP show footage then I have um, my second highlight which is DOML hashtag 2 which is days of my life I just couldn't write days of my life too because it was too long so yeah I'm trying to update that quite regularly so those are kind of all of the like life updates that I've kind of been up to recently I have about just over an hour until I need to go to dance um, I also need to get petrol on the way to dance because um, I was on the petrol line coming home so that's fun but yeah i'm probably honestly just gonna watch youtube until i have to go because <laughs> So it is a little bit later on now. I have about 20 minutes until I need to go to dance. But I just thought I would show you guys my outfit that I'm going to wear to dance. Also, can we all just excuse this region of my face? I'm getting a huge spot here and it's like really under the skin and it really, really hurts. So I'm just wearing this jacket because it is absolutely freezing. This is an Adidas jacket. Um, it used to be Phil's but then it got too small for him and he was going to declutter it. But I always stole this from him when it was his. So yeah, now I've adopted this and it's really, really warm. I'm just wearing my grey Lorna Jane top that I actually found in an op shop. Wearing my Kmart leggings that I wore to work. And then I've also got my Kmart Everlast sneakers on. And then I also take this bag every time. It's like a little black 
croc um backpack i'm also gonna take my drink bottle which you just saw me fill up um that's the make someone smile drink bottle um that emma stevens here on youtube released so if you want to get your hands on it i'll link it down below um and then also my scrunchie which is from kmart so yeah that's my fit for dance i'm probably gonna leave my camera here just because i'm not actually gonna vlog and dance because i'm in an adult's dance class like I'm not in a high school dance class um, I'm actually the youngest one in my dance class and I'm 22 so but I can um, vlog on my phone like me actually arriving at dance but I really enjoy dance like I used to do dance when I was 14 so I've been really enjoying um, getting back into it and it used to be Tuesdays and Thursday night but at the moment we're only doing Tuesday nights this term just because the show is kind of coming up so I'm very very excited um but park like right outside but this is where I go up those stairs there but I'll kind of show you guys as I go up they're dancing to a Christmas song and then the studio is like right around there so it mm. is a lot later now it Very is much later it is 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. The lighting keeps changing. This is the first time you're seeing Phil today. Mm -hmm. It's a late one. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I got home from dance, jumped straight in the shower, had dinner. I did my skincare, so I got spot treatment down here to try and get rid of this horrible spot. But yeah, if you haven't met Phil before, this is Phil. Phil is my mm -hmm. fiance. Do you want to mm -hmm. show them your new piercing? Because I haven't mm -hmm. seen it. I don't know if they can see it from here. I think so. so Phil got his industrial and his second. Yeah. Because he wanted to get them, so you got yeah. Yeah, industrial really hurts. Scale of 1 to 10. A good 8. What are three good things that happened today? Mm, one, got to see my dad because he's in town. Um, yep. Two, work was good. And three, I got a free dinner from work. <laughs> yeah, his boss paid for Turkish for dinner, so mm -hmm. that's pretty nice. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and end the video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because, as you can see by the title, this is vlogmas so you should be subscribed yeah we're gonna be filming every day for 24 days make sure you turn on the notifications and check out my social media it's always linked down below join mm. your instagram oh yeah sure go on okay well i'll pop phil in the description box as well so if you want to give him a stalk on instagram then you can i don't usually let <laughs> her put my instagram in but it's christmas so it's fine. vlogmas day one <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything you wanted to say? Mm, get a good hairdresser. Yeah, Is my hair is okay? short though. Yeah, it's so short. It's also weird. It used to be a lot shorter, but it's growing back. Yeah, it's growing back slowly. Well, we will see you in tomorrow's video for another day of Vlogmas. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>